welcome to The Gailey Show, where we celebrate LGBTQ culture and entertainment right here in Minnesota. Plus, we have the latest LGBTQ entertainment headlines just for you. I'm your host, JP Derbogosian. A special Christmas concert will be at the Metronome Brewery on December 15th. Vocalist Leslie Vincent joined me to share all about it. Hello, Leslie Vincent. Welcome to The Gailey Show. Hi, JP. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. You're our very first guest that we have on The Gailey Show. And I couldn't imagine a better serious? one in the Twin Cities. Yes, you are. I am. This so is our second hard. episode. <laughs> so you have an amazing concert coming up. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so um, December 15th and 16th, um, I'll be performing with my uh, duet partner, Emily Dusso. Uh, together, we're called The Champagne Drops, and mm. we'll be putting on our annual public Christmas show, Christmas with the Champagne Drops. Perfect. And what can our audience expect as we're showing up to for the evening? Yeah, so Emily and I, um, we take some classic holiday songs and put our own spin on them with female harmony. Um, so some old kind of classic sounds, classic harmonies. But then we also um, have some originals that we like to do, uh, showing a different side of Christmas, a little more contemporary feel. And then a couple of other um, n more non-traditional less traditional would be the way to say that less traditional uh christmas tunes that we put into our repertoire so an evening of classy but um with a little bit of a contemporary edge lots of fun is there oh perfect perfect yeah. is there a particular song that you really like performing so we uh, have a song that we wrote called perkta um perkta is a myth um out of austria and the conceit of her is um, for um, staff, sort of if you think of in a, in a castle or a, a bigger um, mansion or whatnot. The idea is if you don't get your work done, Perkta will come and gut you and fill your stomach with rocks. And so we decided to make that um, our annual Christmas song. Actually comes at Christmas. And, um, and so we've, we've been singing that song for years now, and it's a crowd favorite. So I'm uh, really excited to bring Perkta out for her for her little seasonal display. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think I broke JP. <laughs> you kind of did. Hey, <laughs> I'm just still trying to wrap my head around this tradition of this character and how, so you, this is an original song that you created. Yeah, so a couple of years ago, Emily and I were commissioned to do some creepy holiday songs, believe it or not. Um, it was called Dread the Halls, was the show, and then we were music Ooh. between different sketches and, and uh, stories and whatnot. And so we ended up creating Perkta. And then from there, um, we, we just have kind of mashed up a couple of darker themes in the holidays. One year, we wrote a song about um, Santa getting stuck in the chimney. <laughs> um, I wrote a song about Anne Boleyn because there's a there's a belief that Anne Boleyn haunts her childhood home every Christmas. The ghost of Anne Boleyn, <laughs> wife of King Henry. I like that actually. Um, yeah, that and that one we're going to do this year. It's called "In Memory of Anne," and um, I actually mm -hmm. think it's a really beautiful song. Um, just a little, you know, just a little darker. So we have the traditional, the sentimental. Of course, we love that kind of stuff. It's how we began as a duo, but we also love just to express our, um, you know, our perspectives too in the world. What is your favorite classic Christmas song to sing? Um, you know, I will say we do a really cute version of The Man with the Bag, which is a K star. Um, K star is the one who really made it famous. And I think it's one of the most underrated songs. And in a season where we hear a lot of the same songs over and over, mm -hmm. I am like, we need to put The Man with the Bag more in this rep because it's very cute, it has great lyrics. And um, we don't need to hear Let It Snow anymore. We live in Minnesota. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. <laughs> well, I, I am waiting for the snow. So, you know, with climate change, I'm always like, are we going to have a white Christmas? Are we not? Like, what's going on here? Like, does, does Let It Snow need to become some sort of like ritual chant that we need to do, like in the middle of December to make sure that we actually get Let It Snow to happen here? For real. <laughs> but, so where, how, where do folks go to get tickets? 
Um, so tickets are available on the Metronome Brewery website. That's where we're going to be performing this year. Um, we'll be in their downstairs venue, um, which is very intimate and warm and cozy. Um, you can also get them on my website, which is lesliedellavincent.com. Perfect. And showtimes are at? 7. 7 p.m. Great. Thank you so much, Leslie. We look forward. Everyone, you need to go and check this out. It's a very special, festive, and kind of dark, but amazing time. <laughs> Just a little dark. Just like two or three Just a little dark, dark songs. Which Everything is perfect. Else is Which is light perfect. And beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Leslie. Oh, thanks, JP. It's always nice to see your face. Likewise. Once again, that's lesliedelavincent.com or metronomebrewery.com. That's metro n o m e brewery.com. Next up in the Keeping Up the Good Fight news, Penguin Random House, the Iowa State Education Association, and a number of authors have sued the state of Iowa over Iowa's ridiculous education reform law, aka book ban law, affecting K-12 schools. This law is so crazy that the age of consent is 16 in Iowa, but you can't actually read about sex in high school. And of course, LGBTQ books are a major target of the law with a complete ban of all LGBTQ books in elementary schools. This comes the same week as a second lawsuit that Lambda Legal and the ACLU filed in federal court against the state of Iowa. This case is addressing a host of LGBTQ rights that are violated by this law. We'll see what happens with these cases. I'll be following them and sharing updates right here. Back home, the Queens of Christmas are back in Minneapolis this Monday. The Jinx and Della Holiday Show will be at the Northrop on December 11th with their festive spectacle, their original songs, and yes, their annual favorites. Visit northrop.umn.edu. And if you can't make it to the show, you're in luck. You can watch the Jinx and Della Holiday Special it's streaming now and available to rent or purchase on Prime, Google Play, Vudu, Video On Demand, and Apple TV. And if you haven't been to the Queer Holiday Market, this would be a great year to check it out because it looks like this year will be bigger, better, and gayer than ever with 30 local LGBTQ businesses and makers, plus holiday drag characters, and best of all, festive holiday drinks, it's hosted by Scout Apparel and Clothing and the Urban Growler, so yes to the drinks. All vendors will be donating a portion of their sales to the Aliveness Project. It is at the Urban Growler, December 14th and 15th, 5 to 9 p.m. For all of the details, go to urbangrowlerbrewing.com. Now, if you've ever wondered, what would a Christmas carol look like if it was done in drag? Well, you don't have to imagine anymore because Scrooge in Rouge is playing at Open Eye Theater this month. I'm not quite sure how to describe this show. So I'll just say that it's about this theater company who's supposed, supposed to rather perform a Christmas carol, but a bunch of them get food poisoning the night before the show opens. So the remainders, like three or four of them, have uh, to do the entire show by themselves. And it's got cheeky puns and body songs and campy drag. Tickets, schedule, and more at their website, openeyetheater.org. Okay, so last week I told you about my guilty pleasure of gay Hallmark Christmas movies. And it must really be Christmas because I get two this year. I mean, we get two. And the straights get 42. But still, two is progress. Yeah. Thankfully, though, Friends and Family Christmas has it all. Daniela, the sweet artist who's just moved to the Big Apple. Amelia, the high-powered lawyer who's hyper-focused on her work to get over a breakup. Their overbearing parents who set them up on a date that they obviously don't want to go on. But they have to, you know, keep dating, obviously, you know, to, for the pretend to keep up for their parents for the holidays. But as they spend more time together, magic? Friends and Family Christmas, Hallmark Channel, December 17th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. Also coming out this month is Maestro. The Leonard Bernstein, basically the greatest American conductor, composer with seven Emmys, two Tonys, 16 Grammys, and an Oscar nomination biopic. Bradley Cooper directs and stars as Leonard Bernstein. And this film puts Leonard's navigating the closet as central to its plot. So from when he got his start as a conductor in the 1940s, 
affairs he was having with men on the side, marrying Felicia, having three kids, then to the 1980s where he's teaching and then having affairs with younger men after Felicia has passed. Bernstein's life, as you can imagine, had no shortage of drama. With Netflix and Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese producing, it is high on production values and already getting a lot of awards buzz. It is playing in limited theaters, very limited, but will be on Netflix on December 20th. Finally, I want to share with you about Two Wings to Hide My Face by Penny Micklebury. Lambda Literary highlighted this novel as one of their most anticipated for December 2023. Penny Mickleberry is a prolific writer of 14 novels, and she was inducted into the National Association of Black Journalists Hall of Fame in 2019. Two Wings to Hide My Face takes place in pre-Civil War, Philadelphia. It's a follow-up to Mickleberry's Two Wings to Fly Away. In that novel, we met Jeannie Oliver, who is a cross-dressing slave fighting to protect the Underground Railroad. In this new novel, Jeannie is forced to make a decision to risk the dangerous roads to Canada as the Civil War breaks out. It is published by Bywater Books and is available now. Well, that's our show. Thanks everyone for listening today. Our podcasts are executive produced by Jim Pounds. Thanks to Brett jo Johnson and Chad Larson for production, distribution, and marketing support. You can find us on social media. Search for This Career Book, Save My Life on Facebook. We're also at This Career Book on Instagram. You can also find me on Blue Sky. You can search for JRP Dergosian. For The Gailey Show, check out AM950's YouTube channel and Facebook page. As always, you can connect with us through our website, thisqueerbook.com. And if you have entertainment, LGBTQ news in Minnesota, email us, gailyshow at thisqueerbook.com. That's gailey, G-A-L-G-A-I-L-Y, show at thisqueerbook.com. And until our next episode, see you queers and allies in the bookstores. 